Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to share with you this popsicle phone cases and I'm going to be sharing with you a few colors. First, I'm going to be working on the popsicles themselves. I'm going to be using this phone case, but I'm going to mark first the shape of it with my pencil and then I'm going to cut it. This is just so I know how uh, big I need my popsicle to be. Once I have that, I'm just going to be folding that in half and I'm going to be pretty much working on the shape of my popsicle for this like search online for popsicles pretty much depends on like the shape you want to go for but i'm just going to be doing this shape and then i'm going to cut it i'm going to be putting a picture on my blog of this template right here if you want to go for this then i'm going to be using some foamy paper and i'm going to trace the shape of my popsicle and for one popsicle you need two of these shapes so then i'm going to be cutting those and just before i glue anything i'm just going to make sure that they look even meaning that they are the same size and all that then i'm going to be taking one of this uh, wooden sticks but yeah i'm just going to be cutting this in half because one is way too long for one popsicle so one of the sticks is for two popsicles of the size that i'm going for i'm going to be placing my stick where i want it to be then i'm going to mark that cut that then i'm going to be adding some glue to the back of my popsicle foamy paper and then i'm going to glue the rest and i'm gonna let it dry i waited about 24 hours i think it was and then i'm going to be painting them in my fave color next to black which is steel and for that i'm going to be mixing these two because one is too dark and one is too light so i just want something in between so yeah once that's done i'm going to be painting my popsicle giving this a few coats and i'm going to be then using some tape because i want to paint that part but i don't want to paint the uh, wooden stick just to avoid uh, stains one of my popsicle it's gonna have a bite on it and for that i'm gonna be using this cookie cutter round one this is kind of like the uh, size of it placing it on the edge on the top mark with my pencil and then cut with my scissors painting it again that part and the whole thing just giving this two or three coats pretty much depends uh, if you're starting with um, white foamy paper you may need less paint and that's it for the popsicles themselves i'm going to be sharing with you two designs one is going to be the same uh, phone case that i used at the beginning my watercolor paint and my brush and i'm going to be painting this they gave this two or three coats it's not going to be that visible but just in case then i'm going to be using my round sponge it's really old i really need to get a new one my teal acrylic paint then some yellow pink and purple acrylic paint and i'm pretty much going to be uh, sponging everything first the pink like this then with my purple like this kind of like all over the place then with my yellow and finally with my teal and when you add the teal it's going to go lighter just so you know if you use the steel then i'm going to go about and i'm going to be pretty much doing the same thing until i'm happy with how it looks then i ended up adding a coat of gloss once it's done i'm going to be using my glue this is the e6000 and i'm going to be pretty much gluing the whole thing i honestly prefer to work with super glue because i feel like it dries faster it doesn't smell as much but i was running out of it and that's it for this one i chose to glue the one that has the bite in it i think uh, it goes better with this design in the phone case i think it's really nice i think the teal of the popsicles really complements in the colors of the phone case itself then for the clear one i'm going to be using a piece of acetate sheet my clear phone case tracing the shape of it by placing it upside down marking the shape of my phone case with my pencil and then i'm going to cut it and don't forget to cut the camera gap but yeah this is what it looks like now but i'm going to be working on the back of it which means that i'm going to be placing this upside down then i'm going to be using my wet acrylic paint and this setting tool that i do have the diy for this one is pretty handy and it's really easy to make if you want to check it out it's on my channel but yeah i'm just going to be adding some like dots all over the place in a pocket that pattern and that cotton by the way has some water in it so i can clean when a lot of like paint gathers on my dotting tool i'm going to be placing my like acetate sheet on my phone i'm going to be taping this with my double-sided tape i'm going to be adding a lot of tape all over the place and the color of my foamy paper that i used at the beginning is different from this one it's because i made a lot of mistakes while i was doing this and i ended up making new ones but at the end it's okay because you can just paint them but yeah then i'm going to be taping this on the middle in there and that's pretty much it for this one i think it looks really cute and i just prefer to place the entire popsicle with this background i think it looks better you know it's pretty much personal taste but yeah guys these are what this one looks like teal is my favorite color as i said this could be like a blue hawaiian fruit punch and because i had a lot of like leftover uh, pieces that i didn't actually like at the end i just painted them to show you guys what it looks like if you go for pink 
because I know a lot of people like pink. This could be like strawberry. Then this is what it looks like with purple. I think it looks cute anyways. And this could be like a grape. A yellow one would be really cute as well. I love them all, but my favorite one is the teal one. And hopefully you like them too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more phone cases that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.